Stretching along the western edge of South America and bordered by the vast Pacific Ocean on one side and the majestic Andes Mountains on the other, you'll find Chile. A land of breathtaking beauty and diverse landscapes that range from the arid Atacama Desert, one of the driest places on Earth, to the lush forests and volcanoes of the Lake District to the rugged wilderness of Patagonia. It's definitely one of those places that you want to visit at least once or twice in your lifetime. But the thing is, it's not just a beautiful place. It's one of those places where mysterious and unexplained phenomena happen quite often. And for some mysterious reason, there's been a rise in mysterious sightings in Chile. No, it's like an omni. Hola, ¿qué tal? Bienvenidos a un nuevo video. En esta ocasión estoy justamente aquí subiendo para demostrarles esto. Miren, es un... On October 2022, an internet account by the name of Guaro y Piscola was staying in Viña del Mar in Chile. Now, Viña del Mar is a coastal city about 130 kilometers from Santiago. And it was very late at night, while enjoying the apartment view, that Guaro y Piscola saw something strange in the sky, something that wasn't supposed to be there. And this is what they caught on camera. Esto no sé qué es, pero es una luz demasiado grande en el cielo. Y al parecer viene como hacia acá. Pero es muy, muy grande en el cielo. De hecho, se alcanza a ver en el, en el video. No sabemos si es un avión, no creo, porque igual no se está moviendo mucho. Se mueve muy poco, la verdad, pero... No, un helicóptero no brilla tanto. Se está moviendo muy despacio, no es un, no es un avión, un avión no, no se mueve tan despacio. Y si está muy lejos, no debería brillar tanto. ¡Ay! ¡Se apagó! ¡Mira, se apagó! Did you see that? Whatever this object was, it looked like an airplane or maybe a helicopter, but when he zooms in, you can see that it's quite big. Not only that, it's not blinking, nor moving like an airplane or a helicopter would. Then, all of a sudden, the object disappears into thin air. Strange, isn't it? But it doesn't stop there. A couple of weeks ago, I uploaded a video of a mysterious spiked object that was seen by a family in Mexico. While researching the topic, I found out that this is not the first time this mysterious object shows up. And not only it's not the first time, this mysterious object has been showing up quite often in the past few years all over the world for some mysterious reason. There it goes. What the? It's clear now. Oh my god. Este es el siguiente día. Miren lo que está. Yeah. And it was on a sunny afternoon in 2020 that a Twitter account by the name of Alan204799924 noticed this mysterious object. Check this out. What well, looks like a massive spiked object can be seen apparently landing behind some trees in Taxcoco Highway in Tezoyuca, Mexico. After being posted, the video amassed millions of views and thousands of comments and people all over the world were intrigued by it. Some internet users left comments saying that this is possibly a balloon and maybe it is. Others stated that this is possibly an angel according to ancient drawings and scripts. Whatever this is, it's very similar to what this family saw in Mexico in 2024. 
could be a balloon or maybe a drone, right? Well, maybe not. On August 2021, a group of people captured something very similar hovering just above the neighborhood of Ecotepec in Mexico. This is what they saw. Con el mío sí se alcanza a ver bien, güey. Ahorita se los paso. Sí, güey. In one particular video, we can clearly see that the object seems to be metallic and has this weird shape. It doesn't look like a balloon, nor a drone. So, what is it? In one particular video posted by Jared Hausman in Colorado Springs, we can see a very similar object once again. There it goes. What the f It's clear now. Oh my god. <laughs> that looks so creepy. It was also seen in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and many other places. So, my question is. Could it be that these mysterious objects seen all over the world are somehow linked? Is it a balloon? Is it maybe a drone? Or is it something else entirely? What's your take? Now I don't know about you, but when I was younger, I used to look up at the stars and wonder if we were alone in this universe. I mean, there were so many stars, it would be impossible for us to be the only intelligent life form. Then I grew up and started researching the Egyptians, the Mayans, the Incas, the pyramids, and I quickly learned about the hollow earth theory. A theory that suggests that there are hidden worlds and possibly cities deep within our planet. Crazy, right? Well, maybe not so much. I'm going to show you guys possible video evidence that surfaced recently that suggests that maybe this is not so far-fetched. But before doing so, let me explain how this theory became so popular. In the 1700s, a man by the name of Edmund Haley, famous for his work on comets, proposed that the Earth might consist of a shell of 500 miles thick, with two inner concentric shells and an inner core each shell separated by an atmosphere. Halley's proposal was based on his attempts to explain anomalous compass readings by suggesting the existence of a magnetic atmosphere inside Earth. Then, in the 1800s, John Cleve Sims Jr., an American Army officer, published a circular in which he proposed that the Earth consists of a hollow shell with openings at the poles. Sims dedicated most of his life trying to find these entrances in the North and South Pole. Then, in the 19th century, a man by the name of Alexander St. Ives wrote a book about a mysterious city that was supposedly located in the inner core of the Earth. Fast forward to 2016, and Edgar Nero and his team at Arizona State University found out by using seismic tomography that there is a huge blob inside the Earth's core. This actually suggests that there is something massive inside our Earth, but we just don't know what. Strange, isn't it? But here's where things get even stranger. Around 2020, the Euphrates River began to dry up. And around 2022, a video surfaced of what's supposed to be a cave that was found in the dried up Euphrates River. In one of the videos, you can actually hear what sounds like a ghostly creature howling inside the cave.
In a second video, the explorers go inside the supposed cave, and in it you can see passageways and even what looks like a hieroglyph. Whatever it is that's going on here, it's very hard to affirm that this is the real deal. It could be fake. But if it isn't, then it raises some serious questions. But it doesn't stop there. A couple of days ago, a video surfaced the internet of what's supposed to be a mysterious passageway that was found in China while construction workers were digging at a site. And this is what happened. Did you see that? Even though the video is only 8 seconds long, in it we can see what looks like some sort of ancient construction that was unearthed by the people that were digging the site. Not only that, we can hear what sounds like a massive creature on the other side of those walls. After being posted, the video amassed millions of views and internet users were trying to figure out what exactly was going on here. Some left comments saying that this is possibly a dragon while others stated that this is maybe a lion or a tiger. Others also left comments saying that this is fake, that the sound was added to the video, which could be the case, but I'm not too sure. Is it possible that this is some sort of entrance to an underground hidden world? A world that John Sims Jr and many other researchers dedicated their entire lives searching for it. What's your take? Do you think that maybe these are just added sounds or fakery? Or do you think that this is maybe the real deal and there's something else going on here? Have you ever heard of the Appalachian Mountains? It's one of the oldest and most visually stunning mountain ranges in the world, offering a unique blend of forests, cascading waterfalls and towering peaks that attract tourists from all over the world. But behind its beauty lies a creepy and mysterious backstory. It seems that there's something strange going on in the Appalachian Mountains, and people who live there are constantly talking about mysterious phenomena and creepy tales of unknown creatures that lurk in the woods. The f is that? The f is that in the woods? Hello? Hello? Some people believe that because the Appalachian mountain range was formed about 300 million years ago, there are certain things about it that we simply don't understand. And it was on a sunny afternoon after enjoying a barbecue that a family noticed their dog staring at the woods and barking. And this is what they caught on camera. Dogs are barking at something. Where? Over that way. Sit. Oh yeah, right there, look. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Did you see that? What looks like a very tall and pale humanoid creature can be seen hiding behind a tree. The person recording very bravely goes outside and tries to capture whatever this thing was on camera once more. And this is what happens. What the frick? After being posted, many internet users left comments saying that this could be Bigfoot or maybe a person using a ghillie suit, which could be the case. 
But even so, it doesn't explain what it was doing hiding behind the trees in this person's backyard. Not only that, in a specific part of the video, it looks like it's some sort of pale humanoid creature, but I could be wrong. Creepy, isn't it? But when it comes to strange things going on in the Appalachian Mountains, it doesn't stop there. Morgan Lambert has been living with her husband in the Appalachian Mountains for a while now, and since they moved there, they've been seeing and hearing strange things. I think that is one of the creepiest things that I have ever caught on camera and that I have ever experienced in my life. That sounds almost identical to my voice. On January 13th, there was a storm with very strong winds at her dad's farm. The next day, Morgan and her husband decide to go check her dad's fence to see if things were okay. And along the way, something really creepy happens. Morgan's husband starts reacting to a voice that's shouting in the distance. The only problem is, the voice sounds exactly like Morgan's. Pay very close attention. So we are on an adventure to <laughs> check on the fence line to make sure no trees fell on it because we had like 50 mile an hour winds. Check it instead of my dad. Oh God, I'm freezing. It's cold, isn't it? Pretty. Oh God. What? I'm a spell. What did you say? I said, Oh God. Okay. Ciao. I just said, oh God, because I... Yeah, no, I really did. What are you talking about? What? What are you talking about? We, uh... I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear anything. Uh, I think we got to go. Hey, don't run. Uh, it's okay. We're good. We're good. Um, I don't hear... Go, 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 go. It's okay. It's okay. It's are, okay. Are you messing with me right now? Yeah, no, I don't, don't really hear anything. What do you hear? You don't hear that right now. I don't hear anything. Did you hear that? If you listen closely, we can clearly hear a voice mimicking Morgan's, shouting from the distance things like, hey, and where are you going? Unfortunately, I was unable to understand every word. But her boyfriend did, and he was basically talking back to this thing until both of them noticed that something was off. Confused, they both got out of there as fast as possible, not knowing exactly what they were dealing with. After being posted, the video amassed millions of views, and thousands of people were trying to figure out what was going on. Some people believe that this is possibly a skinwalker. Others think this could be a demon or a ghost. Whatever it is, it seems to have followed Morgan back to her home, and she continued on hearing this voice mimicking her own, until one day she was able to actually capture it on camera, and this is what happened. Hey. 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 Creepy, isn't it? What's even creepier is that some people state to have already experienced something like this. While researching the topic, I found out that it's quite common for skinwalkers to mimic other people's voices. Dude. Do you hear that? What the f Oh my god, no. That. Now, if you don't know what a skinwalker is, in Navajo tradition, it's supposed to be a malevolent witch that has the ability to turn into, possess, or disguise themselves as animals. What the hell is that? <laughs> Skinwalkers are feared and their practices are considered taboo within Navajo culture. So in other words, you don't want to come face to face with one. But apparently, they try to mimic other people's voices to lure them in into the woods. 
And this is exactly what happened with an internet account by the name of Yo What's Up My Guy 403. They did say my vitamin nickname Lolo. In this video, a group of girls were waiting for their father to pick them up just next to a bridge. This is when all of a sudden they start hearing what sounds like their father shouting at them from deep within the woods. Trying to make sense of things, they immediately get their cameras and begin to record. And this is what happens. Oh, sorry. We end up on a YouTube channel. <laughs> is it like, where is his car? Yeah, what is he talking about bridge? I don't know, maybe he's all like, oh yeah. Can you I, yeah. I literally don't know how to justify this. <laughs> Well, I don't want to head towards someone that's not your father. Yeah, I'm scared. I didn't think about that. He did say my vitamin nickname, Lolo. Yell again. Dad? Yeah. Where, what, is he down there? Why, why do you want us to walk to the bridge? Where is he? Where are you? You down there? Dad! I'll go. I can't see you! Why can't you go to the car? Oh, is he right there? Oh, is that him? I don't know. At this point, they spot what looks like their father across the bridge and they realize that whatever it was that they were talking to wasn't their father at all. It was something else entirely. Creepy, isn't it? But I want to know your thoughts. What do you really think is going on here and have you ever heard anything similar yourself? In the 1950s, a man by the name of Hugh Everett III, an American physicist, came up with a theory, a very interesting one, that we may be living inside of a parallel universe. Everett first introduced the concept of many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, where he suggests that all possible outcomes of quantum measurements are physically realized in some world or some universe. Everett's theory implies that for every quantum event that could occur, the universe splits, creating a near infinite number of parallel universes where every possible outcome happens. Now even though this is just a theory, it could help explain why sometimes reality appears to glitch. I've seen some really creepy stuff, but nothing like this. There's a palm floating right in the middle of the air. It's not attached to wires or anything like that. Wow. Really impressed though. For the past couple of years, many people have been noticing strange things going on. Things that sometimes have absolutely no explanation. And most of the times, these things are being coined as a glitch in the matrix. What's most interesting about these glitches in the matrix is that at least once or twice in your lifetime, you should experience one for yourself. And this is exactly what happened with an internet account by the name of Superman is Taken. Superman is taken and a couple of friends were just about to have dinner and it was when they opened the dishwasher to set the table that they noticed something odd. This is what they caught on camera. Riddle me this. This cup broke in the dishwasher. This is the shard we found. Exhibit A. And the way that it is... No, put it in. <laughs> it's rounded so it's supposed to go like that with the lip of the cup on top and that's the way that it would fit but that's the inverted part how do you make it fit in the cup it's 
It doesn't, it doesn't fit. You're going viral, baby. <laughs> the question is, does broken glass invert in the dishwasher? <laughs> Thank you and someone help. At first, I thought that the girls were trying to piece the glass cup together in a wrong way, which would maybe explain the situation. But then I noticed that when she's trying to piece it together, the glass lid is on the correct side. Which means that something strange happened and the piece of glass somehow inverted its side. After being posted, many internet users were leaving comments trying to figure out what was going on. Some suggest that the piece of glass inverted due to excessive heat inside the dishwasher. Others believe this could be a legit glitch in the matrix. Now I'm pretty sure that there's a logical explanation. However, what really bugs me is that when she's trying to piece the glass cup together, the broken piece of glass she's holding in her hand seems to be longer than the gap that remained in the glass cup. It's as if both pieces do not fit in any way. Strange, right? But when it comes to strange glitches, it doesn't stop there. An internet profile by the name of Catherine Giselle was with her family at her farm and they were just about to record a TikTok dance video. This is when all of a sudden, something really strange happened and they were able to capture it all on camera. Check this out. Did you see that? If we slow-mo and rewind the video, you can clearly see that the boy in blue simply appears out of nowhere. It's as if he teleported into the TikTok dance in the last minute. Now at first, I was pretty sure that there was a logical explanation to it, but then I started noticing their shadows. The boy in blue doesn't seem to be casting any shadow up until the moment where he climbs the fence. That's when you see it. So it's as if he really teleported in the last minute. Strange, isn't it? But when it comes to glitches, it gets stranger. For the past couple of months, many people all over the world have been noticing what sometimes looks like two moons in the sky. And this is exactly what Yannick Baby caught on camera on a Friday night. Check this out. All right, y'all. Y'all see this moon right here? Y'all see this moon right here? It's the moon right there. And then I'm going to go this side. And then it's the moon right here. Look at this. Y'all can't tell me I'm tripping. In Yannick Baby's video, we can clearly see what looks like two moons in the sky. But I guess that what's even creepier is the amount of comments of people saying that they saw something similar. While researching the topic, I came across more videos that might suggest that this is not a trick of light or something like that. Al parecer, noto que había dos lunas, como lo podemos apreciar en este video. Se tratará de una falla en la Matrix, una ilusión, o tal vez la segunda luna es... For some mysterious reason, many people all over the world seem to be seeing something similar. But how is it possible? Could this be a legit glitch in the Matrix, or is it something else entirely? And then it's the moon. I want to know your thoughts. Do you think that this could be a legit glitch in the Matrix, or is there something else going on here? In the early 20th century, one of the most notable attempts to scientifically investigate the existence of ghosts was conducted by Harry Price, a British researcher. Price's most famous investigation took place in Essex, England. At the time, he used several different techniques to document and try to prove the existence of ghosts. However, critics argued that some of the phenomena could be attributed to natural causes or were outright hoaxes, while supporters saw his work as pioneering in the field of paranormal research. My guys got some new fish, pretty big tank as well. There's currently two black ones, two gold ones. Uh, I've called them Goldie, Goldie number two, uh, <laughs> the black one, and I, if you guys have any suggestions for names that What 
After Harry Price, there were several different paranormal investigators trying to prove the existence of ghosts. And even though different and more technological techniques were always used, it's been always difficult to document and prove the existence of a spiritual realm. But what I find intriguing about paranormal activity is that it usually occurs when you least expect it to. And this is exactly what happened with Reddit user Accomplished Row 900. Join me on a tour of this charming three and a half. <laughs> Reddit user Accomplished Row 900 works as a realtor, and it was while recording a specific house to show to her buyers that she started noticing strange things going on. She describes how certain doors kept locking and unlocking by themselves and how she sometimes also heard voices inside the house. And it was on one certain evening while recording a video tour for one of her buyers that something chilling happened. This is what she caught on camera. Wow, it's 10 p.m. and my day was fully booked with showings of this beautiful vintage 1962. the store. Go ahead, open the store. Open the store like you do the other one. Not exactly sure if the events that are taking place are just a coincidence or maybe the presence of an evil spirit, Accomplished Row 900 now tries to talk to the entity in the house. However, most paranormal investigators state that this is not an intelligent thing to do, and I guess that Accomplished Row 900 is just about to find out. This is what happens next. Come on, just move a glass or something. Go ahead, do it again. I'm not scared.
Now completely scared, she gets the heck out of there as fast as possible and I can't completely understand why. Creepy, isn't it? But it gets even creepier. At the time, Accomplished Row 900 didn't notice anything strange. But after uploading the video to the internet, many people started pointing out that one of the paintings in the wall becomes darker just moments before the door unlocks by itself. If we slow-mo and rewind the video, you can clearly see the painting change. Whatever is going on here, this could be one of the best video evidence of the existence of ghosts. But I want to know your thoughts. Do you think that maybe this is just a coincidence or is there something far more sinister going on here? Well, this is it for now, but we do have more videos. Don't forget to check them out and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more videos like this. Also, if you'd like to send me strange videos and strange stories, thatimpossiblechannel at gmail.com and I'll see you guys again.